Peter looked like a nice positional win against Kevin. Your thoughts on the game? Well, I think I played a reasonable game. I expected the game to continue for a while, and uh, we discussed it with Kevin a little bit. And I think he just felt that once I've taken on e5 and played c5, he just didn't believe this this structure is any good, and uh, it kind of it influenced his his approach even to the remainder of the game. Because I think. Uh, of course, I have a stable advantage and I will always be pushing, but I, he, it wasn't at all a foregone conclusion in my mind that I will win the game. But I think he kind of gave up at some point. And uh, in the final position, I understand the machine isn't very impressed, even with uh, he thinks it's very playable. I honestly think that this may be a uh, lack of depth. And uh, if, you, if you continue moving pieces logically, I think at some point the evaluation might drop. And I thought I have very, very good winning chances in the final position. But I expected the game to continue another 25, 30 moves, of course. And the, the, the handshake came, came as a bolt from the blue. But, uh, but you're not complaining, obviously. No, no, I'm not complaining at all. But yeah, uh, it's been a while since this happened from, to me on, on, on this side. Like I, I've, I'm very well known for resigning in, in, in even drawn positions myself. But it's been a while since people resigned against me so early. <laughs> Yeah. Right, and are you happy with the way the quality of your game so far? Some, but not all. Uh, I mean, it's a very, very difficult tournament, and uh, I'm playing people a lot lower rated than I am. But uh, apart from today, I mean, I, I mostly played young young kids, well, kids of various ages. They're all kids to me these days, and uh, I mean, I, I think all all of them are severely severely underrated for the for the skill that they display and. Uh, no, some of the games were very interesting, some of the games were very meh, but yeah, in general, I mean, plus three is uh, better than nothing, but uh, y you generally want to have more points after six rounds. Right, now uh, you're back here, you were here last year as well, you like no, it here? Last year. Last, last year. 2015, sorry, yes, 2015, so you, you like it here? Yeah, I, I do like this place and I have a, you know, a very cordial relationship with, the, uh, with, with Stu and with Brian and it's, it's always a pleasure to come back. The tournament could be a bit weaker, frankly, I mean, come on, what is this? <laughs> but uh, apart, apart from the, the level of opposition, which I'm uh, sort of failing to enjoy properly here, uh, everything is fine, yeah. Right, so everything except the hard competition yeah. here you love. Yeah, everything else is fantastic, yeah, but, but people just play very well, it's upsetting. Right, now you're also some, you're, you've also taken to commentary, you're one of the best commentators out there, everyone seems to love you. How much do you enjoy commentating and it's, uh, is it like a, like a side career now? Well, it is very definitely something I do quite seriously, and uh, I mean, I don't know uh, if you, the percentage split will be difficult, and I still consider myself an active chess player, of course. But yeah, I mean, it's not, it's no longer just a, uh, an occasional side gig. It's it's something that I do, uh, I do professionally, and yeah. Right. In fact, right before coming here, your preparation for the jib seemed to be based on your commentary for Tata. <laughs> Sort of, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't call it preparation as such. And people were constantly making this point to me in chat. Why are you doing this instead of looking at openings? And they had a point, frankly. But yeah, I, I like I like comment, uh, commentary work, and uh, yeah, why not? Right. Well, we love it when you commentate or when you play. And good luck for the remaining rounds. Thank you.